the first matchup with Duke, you know, uh, everybody thought it would be, you know, one of the, the greatest games ever. How did you guys, and you end up blowing them out by 30. Um, how, how did you guys approach that game? Before the game, Walter Pay, Walter Pay was a big, I don't know how it happened, but he was just a big UNLV fan. He used to come to all the games. He used to sit in sweetness. the locker room. With sweetness. sweetness, sweetness. He used to sit <laughs> on a couple of games, sit on the end of the bench. But Coach Tarkin and, and Walter was super close, and I was a big time Walter Payton fan, man. So I was, I was ecstatic for that. And he told, he's like, guys, y'all can do something special. And his speech really got, I, I, I was focused, but his speech really took me to the next level. And wow. we was just so focused in there, man. And Coach Tark had us ready to bite everybody head off. You know, they, they fucking with us. They rocking with like, all right, Coach, all right. Coach. He had you ready to bite it. He was more of a motivator than – and he was a defensive coach, but he can get you ready to kick ass, you know. So right, when, right. I was super focused going into that game. Everybody was. Was there a – So right before was the it? game, Tark spoke, and then he brought in sweetness? Yeah. Before the Duke of, game? Right before both games. Wow. Both Duke games. Wow. So and, you know, sometimes it's it's a celebrity sort of a thing or or come in and maybe they're not a great motivator or speaker. They'd be like, come on, go, even though they're a great <laughs> athlete or something. But he lit a fire under you guys. Oh, he wasn't that guy. He, he was very soft spoken, but he, his words was real heavy. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I stuck to everything he was saying because, you know, we, he's an idol, too. It's, yeah, it's Walter sure. Payton that you watch and one of the greatest running backs. So you like this. And I'm like, yo, he come in here for us. And, you know, he just, he did like, man, y'all got a chance to be great tonight. And I just, I, his words stuck in my head and I went out there and it was over. Isn't wow. that amazing? I mean, and, and, but I think the thing that we're probably not thinking about, you were listening, you were embracing it. You know, there's a lot of people that will sit in that room in that moment and, you know, hear something different or shy away from the moment. Y'all were built to listen to that man. And yeah. then did it, and that that's pretty powerful. Was there a was there a time in that first matchup with Duke, LJ, a, a play, or was there any point that you went, you kind of something happened, and you went, "Ooh, we got them, we got them." For me, I was guarding Legner at the time, and and Ala Ab Ala Abdenavi. Yeah, and you yep. know these are six eight, six nine, six ten guys. And Coach Talk and the whole coaching staff kept saying, Larry, play behind. They wanted me to play behind these guys. I'm like, no, Coach, I'm going to play in front. And I played in front and got two steals. After I got two steals, Coach Talk was like, you can play in front. I <laughs> 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 told you. I told you. They're not throwing it over my head. So it, uh, once I got, it started on defense with me. Once I got the two steals and Coach let me go, I was over. I love that, that that he's like play behind and you're like no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it, All right. right <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got yeah. two quick steals. They try yeah. to throw it over my head. I got two quick steals. Yes, okay, play in front. All right. So, you, so for real, go do you remember a play or something where you where you saw you broke them? Like that's it. It was like the whole second half. I mean, they kept calling timeout after time. We were on 10 grand, 15 point run. We started going. And after that, that second timeout they had, you can see it in their eyes. They were walking, the shoulders went down, the head went down, and we 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 kept our kept our foot on the gas. Y'all were every bit as good the next year. Yeah. A little bit, little bit different. A little, little, little different. What was yeah. different? What was different? This is what because we lost to Duke the second year because we wasn't as nasty. Our two nastiest players was David Butler and Moses Scurry. They beat you up. Now, I did the basketball player. Stacy did the basketball player. Greg did the basketball player. But we had some enforcers that did mm -hmm. other things. And that was David Butler and Moses Scurry. Now, the second year, I thought we was more talented because we had Elmore Spencer, who played in the NBA, yep. and George Ackles, who was just a great athlete. And I thought they was more uh, athletic, and I thought we was more uh, talented but we just wasn't that nasty to like beat you up like them other two. Interesting. Guys. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure as that game, and I don't want to talk too much about it because I know it, no. it. It's a terrible, you know, just listen, one of listen, your bad losses. I'm over it now, Rex. We can talk I know. About it. Well, it, it's I just, still there I, with me, but it's know. still it's got to still be yeah. there. But it, I just wonder, yeah. like in that game, in that game, uh, you know, what was. Of course, they're coming in to this with a way different mindset than the last one. So you can never discount that. 
But when did y'all, when did you know, when were you like, oh shit, you know, this is, this is not that game. I, I totally take responsibility for losing the second game. I was out there lollygagging. What the movie say, a bunch of lollygaggers. I was lollygagging. Grab ass. I, I was lollygagging. Grab, grab ass. ass. Yeah. I, was, I was not serious until it, like the last five minutes and I saw we was in the ball game. And that's when I'm like, oh, and, but you can't turn it on and off. That's a good team with some good yeah. players. And they had just added, uh, uh, what's our guy's name from Detroit? Uh, Grant. Grant Hill. They just had a Grant, which yeah. was a freshman, yeah. but still a hell of a player at the time. Yeah, you know I mean? where they where they actually, you know, where you say y'all weren't quite as good, you add Grant Hill to yeah, them, exactly. and exactly. that changes things, right? Absolutely, 100%. Grant just did it. Grant, we didn't really didn't have an answer for Grant. So we had an answer well, for everybody else. And, and you're having, Stace is having to guard bigs. Stacey's yes. guarding bigs. He, you know, he's got to guard. And he fouls out early. So wow. it, it just all went wrong for us that day. But, again, I, I tell people this all the time, Rex. I didn't play it as hard as I should have played, man. I, I think my mind was on NBA, Rex, the next level. I was on all this old crazy stuff. And I talked to uh, – I see Leighton a couple of times. We did a couple of things together. He said, Larry, that second year, man – our whole season was about playing y'all. He yeah. said, our first game of the year, we was watching y'all film. The third game of the year, it was UNLV film, UNLV this. Mm -hmm. And we was at UNLV going undefeated. We didn't even know Duke existed the second year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, well, they ain't going to be there. And got bit. Huh? Wow. So, really, you needed Walter Payton to come back before that <laughs> he game. Did. He, really did. No, he, he did. He did. No, he did. He did. He did. He just both years. Back. Both years. Well, you must must not have took the second. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it, it, it's certainly not with me. Like I said, I was out there grass yeah. instead of the same hey. way the first time. You know, man, it uh, takes a big there. man. To, it takes a big man to even say that. I'm not going to say that. I, I somebody sent me a video a month or so ago of like my last game in high school, and we got upset on a last second shot, and I started watching this film, and I was like. I was glad my dad wasn't in the room to just see me just kind of jogging up and down the court and playing pretty basketball. I'm like, what are you doing, man? You know, and I tell my teammates this day, I've lost for us. You know, I lost that game because I didn't know how hard to play in that moment. You hit it in a nuts. That's how I felt about that second Duke game. I probably watched it once and I'd be yeah. like this. I'd be like, man, yeah. come on, dude. Come yeah. on, dude. 